Now in this question we're asked to solve cosine 3x equals minus a half where x is greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Well in order to do this okay we've just got to take the inverse cosine of both sides so therefore we would have 3x equals the inverse cosine or inverse cos of negative a half. And at this point we're trying to find out what possible values 3x could be. Now because we've got x here and we're going to look at 3x I need to create a new range. So I need to times each of these sections here by 3. If I times the x by 3 I've obviously got 3x okay so I'll put that in there but I need to times the 0 by 3 so 3 zeros are 0 and if I times 360 by 3 I get 1080 degrees so I've got a new range that I've got to consider for 3x between 0 degrees and 1080 degrees now before I go any further what I always do is draw a quadrant diagram. So draw a quadrant diagram here starting at 0 degrees at this point here and if we turn anti-clockwise this will be 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees and so on. All right. Now we're looking for the quadrant where cosine is negative. We've got a negative value. Okay. Now cosine you should remember is positive in the quadrants in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So cosine is going to be negative in the second and third quadrants. So knowing that I would draw a line in the second quadrant marking this angle here always to the horizontal never this one here so marking that angle and then mark another line in the third quadrant equally inclined to the horizontal. All right. So mark it that in like so and mark in that angle. These two angles are meant to be the same. Then I would start from zero degrees and mark on my diagram the angles that I want. The angles in this question are 3x. So I start from here and I turn to the first blue line that angle will be 3x. I start again at 0, turn anti-clockwise to the next blue line and mark that in also as another possible angle 3x. Now I'm just going to leave it at these two first of all and I'll show you how we get the other, ver uh, other angles for 3x as we progress through the question. So at this point what I need to do is just work out what 3x can be by taking the inverse cos then of minus a half and if you do that on the calculator what you get is 120 degrees. Now when I look at 120 degrees on the diagram here you'll see that that is this 3x here 120 degrees. Remember this is 90 degrees so this has got to be the 120 degrees. I know it doesn't look an accurate 120 degrees but that's not the point. This is just to help us find all the solutions. Now if that's 120 degrees that means this little bit here has to be 60 degrees to make up the half turn of 180 degrees. So I'm going to mark that in there. Let's just try and squeeze it in like that. That little blue bit there is going to be 60 degrees and that means that this blue bit here is going to be 60 degrees. So I've got the red 3x 120 degrees I now need the green 3x. So that's going to be 180 degrees plus the additional 60 degrees and that's going to make 240 degrees. So we have two angles for 3x but remember it doesn't stop here. I know x was between 0 and 360 but 3x has to go between 0 and 1080 degrees. So how do I get the other angles? 
Well, we've got the red 3x here as 120 degrees, but I can carry on round again to that blue line by adding another 360 degrees. So, if I add 360 degrees to the 120 degrees, I'll put that in plus 360 degrees. Normally I wouldn't write this as if this was an examination question, but it's just there so that you get the idea of what I'm doing. So adding 360 to the 120 gives me 480 degrees, so that's another possible 3x. We're still less than the 1080, so how do I get the next solution? Well, we know that the green one was 240 to there, but I can carry on round again a full 360 degrees. So in other words, I can add 360 degrees to the 240 degrees there, and that will give me another solution. Adding 360 then to 240 gives me 600 degrees. And there's still going to be more because we're less than 1,080. Let's go back to this red one. Remember, if I went to there, that was 120. Then I went round again, another 360. That took me to the 480 degrees. But I could go around again, another 360 degrees. So by adding on 360 degrees to the 480, let's just do that in red so you can see that it's kind of linked to the original red angle. Put plus 360 there. What we're going to get is 480 plus 360, which is 840 degrees. Similarly, remember I went to the green one, originally had 240, added 360, came up to 600 degrees. I can go around another 360 degrees. I can add 360 degrees to this 600. So I'll do that in a green dotted one, plus 360 degrees. And that now gives me 600 plus 360 is 960 degrees. Now, if I went back to the 840 and added on another 360 degrees, it comes up to 1,200 degrees. And that is now out of range. We only wanted to go up to 1,080. So, that is the list of angles that are in the range that we wanted from 0 to 1080. So all I need to do now is just simply divide each of these angles by 3 and it will give me x and you'll find that they'll come back within the range 0 to 360. So here we go, we'll take 120 then, divide it by 3 and we've got 40 degrees. Similarly if we do it for the 240 we get 80 degrees. Divide 480 by 3, that's 160 degrees. 600 by 3, that's 200 degrees. Then we have 840 divided by 3, that's 280 degrees. And finally, dividing the 960 by 3, that's 320 degrees. Alright, so that's how you do this particular question. Brings us then to the end of part B.